Today we're visiting Graysonville and we're standing outside of Shore Up where I'm going to speak with Dr. Bowen about their amazing Early Head Start program. I'm outside with Dr. Bowen. Dr. Bowen, please tell us all about Shore Up. Who are you? So we are a nonprofit agency based in Salisbury, Maryland. However, we do operate in seven counties on the Eastern Shore, and uh, Queen Anne's County being one of those. One of our largest programs is Head Start, Early Head Start, and in this particular county, it's Early Head Start. In addition to that, we also offer services for families, um, weatherization, energy assistance. We also have uh, job assistance for families as well. But again, our target in this area is Early Head Start. Yeah, and I looked on your website and there's so much information about all your programs from job development and learning skills. But let's focus on Early Head Start. What is it? So Early Head Start is a program designed to help children uh, prepare for school readiness, uh, targeting children age zero to three. And in this county, as I said, we've converted our program to specifically offer Early Head Start. So any children who are age and income eligible for the program can apply and come into the center to uh, not only be prepared for school, but also we do meal, uh, nutritional meals. We do screenings for health screenings for children, dental screenings and uh, vision screenings as well. Again, the overall goal is to give that child a head start to prepare them for kindergarten readiness. Right. So I know we're standing here behind the center and people can come here and visit this lovely place, but they could also have services at home, right? Yes, that is correct. We have two options for this location. We have a home-based option and center-based. And I want to also add that these programs are all no cost to families um, based on, again, age and income eligibility. But with the home-based piece, if the child is not enrolled in the center, the family advocate would come and do a 90-minute visit per week with the child, doing home learning activities and preparing to have that child hopefully transition to a center-based uh, situation in the future. But center-based are Children come five days a week, and again, as I mentioned, we do prepare meals. We have a set schedule of activities um, uh, that incorporates learning and, and play. And again, we also serve three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and snacks, so the child would have a full day of, of care, activity, and education while they're here with us. And can you tell us about some of the activities maybe families can look forward to if they're in these programs? Sure. So one of the things that we do, like I said, we do uh, every day we have a specific schedule that we provide for children learning. So they have uh, circle time, reading center time. They have outdoor activities. We do serve three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and snack uh, for all children. Um, we do, when COVID permits, we do, we do field trips or if not virtual field trips. Mm -hmm. And again, we send home learning activities all designed to develop that children in the formative ages, formative years to promote learning. Again, the overall target is kindergarten readiness. Right. So let's talk about eligibility one more time. I know you already said it once, but let's hit them again. Because it's a federal program, it is targeted for low income families. There are age and income restrictions. We do use a federal poverty guideline to determine eligibility. So depending on your family size determines what your income level could be. Um, to gain access to the program, but again, we would help get you through that process and determine where you fall on the scale to see if you are eligible for the program. Right, and now people know about the program, they know it's something they might want to be involved in, but how do they get involved? So one of two ways, you can always call the center or you can go to our website, www.showup.org, and uh, on the website, we have links that'll put you into the Head Start um, icon and you can download the application or you can start the application online and we'll follow up with you to um, finish the application process for you. One of our workers will reach out to make sure that we have our information correct and we'll go from there. And we were talking right before we got started and you said something really beautiful that I think we need to end this piece on. What is the whole goal for the family through the Shore Up? So with Shore Up, our mission is two part when we incorporate Head Start, Early Head Start. Our overall goal is to help break the poverty cycle, help push families to self-sustainability. So while we're working with the child for kindergarten readiness, we're also kind of going to encase that family and other services from the agency to help move them along the spectrum from uh, poverty to, again, self-sustainability, because statistics show that when the family does better, the child does better in school. So our overall goal is to make sure that not only are we preparing the children for school readiness, but again, families can stand on their own two feet when it comes to their economics. That's great. Well, Dr. Bowen, thank you so much for your time. You. Now you have their information. Please head to their website and get your family started with the right heads up.